Welcome back, Panthers. I'm David. And I'm Emily, your anchors for KPAN. Let's get right into the news. To start the week off, we have a school day ACT on Tuesday at 2.45. The due date to sign up has already passed, but it is important to take this test, as colleges can use this for admission and placing in the courses. If you still wish to sign up, seniors do take priority, but there may still be a chance. Make sure you talk to Ms. Hernandez for more information. Good luck to everyone taking it. Now over to our library with our reporter, Izzy. Hey guys, I'm Izzy and I'm at the library where Ms. Mo and Ms. Main are preparing for all events that are going on this October. Digital Citizenship Week starts today. Digital Citizen Week is, was created to teach students about online safety and empower them to use technology responsibly. Technology is a part of our everyday life and knowing how to use it safely, ethically, and effectively helps students navigate the digital world. Hi Ms. Main, what's a good way to be a digital citizen? Hi Izzy, digital citizenship is about being kind, respectful, and safe online. So one great way to be safe online is to make sure that you are hiding your address and your phone number and not giving strangers access to like your TikTok or your Instagram because then they can track you. Also don't post what school you go to mm -hmm. because then they can come up and find you at the school as well. That is true. So when you're talking about respect, you just got to make sure that you, you know, how you interact with people. You don't call them ugly names. Just be kind in front of people. So when you're behind a computer, just make sure you treat everybody nicely. Um, it should be the same. It should be the same. Yeah. Absolutely. And so we have safety, respect, and kindness. So just make sure that when you're respecting people's opinions, just say, yes, I totally understand your opinion. Um, this is my, these are my feelings, but we're not getting in a back and forth argument. Because it's kind of pointless at some point, huh? It pretty much is. Mm -hmm. So there's something called belief perseverance. Mm -hmm. The um, people will keep believing what they believe, even if you try to provide evidence against that. Mm -hmm. And so unless they find the evidence for themselves or they actually take the time to read what you have to say, they're just going to keep that argument going. True. Again, we want to stress the importance of being safe online, thinking before you post, make good decisions. Actually, a good decision you can make right now is signing up for one sentence horror story contest. The library is, accept is still accepting entries. Fill your reader with terror in just one sentence. You can participate and scan the QR code. We can't wait to read your entries. That's all for the library updates we have for now. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Izzy. The library has tons of fun events coming up, including the book fair. We'll have more information on the book fair on KBAN next Monday, so stay tuned. Are you interested in buying a yearbook? Well, good news for you, they are still for sale. Hey Panthers, yearbooks are now on sale and there are three ways to buy your $70 yearbook. First, you can order it online at schoolcashonline.com or you can reserve a book now and pay later through cchscompass.com. Lastly, you can pay in person with Ms. Baron in the main office with cash, check, or credit card. This yearbook will feature 230 pages of color photography and outstanding reporting by our award-winning Caney Creek's media staff. Get your yearbook today and check us out on Twitter and Instagram. I can't wait to receive my yearbook for such a great price. Me too. Our school's yearbook program does a phenomenal job each year creating it. Now let's check to our sports anchors, see what sports events we have going on this week. What's up, Creek? I'm your sports anchor and here's our sports for the week. On Tuesday, volleyball will play away at Woodlands High School. Then on Friday, pack the stands because the volleyball team has a home game against Oak. Football plays against the Woodlands on Friday at Moorhead Stadium. Come support our football team, athletic trainers, band, color guard, pantherets, cheer team, and everyone else who makes our football games possible. Best of luck to all our sports teams this week. Now back to our news anchor. We have a pep rally on Friday. Wristbands will be sold for $1 each in the cafeteria. The theme will be pink out, so we expect to see everyone wearing pink on Friday. Also, the orchestra will be having a concert on Thursday at 3 p.m. No tickets are required, so it's a great opportunity to take friends and family to support our orchestra team. That's all the news for this week, Creek. Thanks for watching, and tune in next Friday for our next episode of Panther Productions. See, see you, you next week, week Panthers. Panthers.